This week, Rachel Abbott launched her fourth book, Stranger Child. In its first week, it's already well on its way up the Kindle e-book top 20 list. Having achieved success without any help and guidance from a traditional publisher, I asked Rachel what it takes to become a best-selling author. It takes a lot of hard work. To start off with, nobody had ever heard of me, and so the first thing I had to do was to raise awareness of myself and of my books, and that meant working long hours. Um, for about three months, I worked um, 14 hours a day, seven days a week, just to try to get my book noticed by people. Rachel published her first book, Only the Innocent, in November 2011. This was followed by The Back Road in 2013 and Sleep Tight last year. Her latest book, Stranger Child, is a fast-moving crime thriller with lots of twists and turns. It's a really difficult one to describe because so much happens so early on in the book so it's hard not to give too much away. But it begins with a woman driving home from a family party with her small daughter in the back of the car. There's a tragic accident and the mother dies, but when the police arrive, the child has disappeared. Born in Manchester, Rachel Abbott now lives, writes and publishes her books from a historic Victorian fort here in Alderney. David Earle, BBC Channel Islands News, Alderney. I think Rachel's success is a combination of those factors. I think there's no doubt that she's an incredibly talented writer. When you read read reviews on our website of her books, they're all so excited about her characterization, her plot development, the quality of her writing. But Rachel's also taken the business side very seriously. She's sat down and developed marketing plans. She's worked with editors and jacket designers. And I think it's that combination that's really created a very compelling package. So can and literally anyone out there e-publish themselves? That's the joy of independent publishing, is that it's open to everybody. Um, you, you can just upload your, your book content, you can make it available to readers all around the world, and you have complete control. So you decide whether you have an editor involved, whether you have a jacket designer involved, and it's up to you to shape the story and the publication of that story in the way that suits you as a writer. So what's the best advice then for someone out there who has a story to tell but maybe hasn't written it yet? I think the best advice I can give is to write that story, to get the book ready in the way that you want it to be, take the time to craft the story in the way that you're happy with, and then press that publication button. We hear from so many authors who hesitate, who are very nervous about making that book available, but once they do, they never look back.